What's up? This is GQ Recommends. And today we're talking about the sickest leather jackets on the planet. Today we're gonna to talk about some of our favorite leather jacket style icons. The best leather jackets at every price point and also how to style one leather jacket three ways. The best leather jackets at every price point. There are a lot of leather jackets out there in a huge range of price points. And that's not for no reason. There are different types of leather and different qualities of leather. I'm sure you guys have looked at a tag and saw, oh yeah, genuine leather. This is the real thing, right? I mean, I think we all do that. But did you guys know that that's not exactly the case when something says, genuine leather. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm like genuinely curious. I actually don't know. Oh, you're genuinely curious. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. 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 So a general rule of thumb is that the more specific a tag can get about the type of leather that's used, that's probably a better sign of quality. And genuine leather, more often than not, is an amalgamation of tiny scraps of leather that are essentially like glued and bonded together. And so genuine leather is not what you're you're picturing where they like they take a full hide and they make a jacket out of it. Right? Exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, when you're shopping for a leather jacket, there's just like so many options mm -hmm. available to you that it can be a little confusing. You might see some price tags and think, oh, I can't afford a leather jacket. And we wanted to sort of break this down by price point. You know, Gerald took 500-ish and under. I took like 500 to 1500 roughly, and Avedon will be showing you uh, some of the coolest leather jackets you can get if your budget is unlimited. And so we just wanted to show you that you can get a, a great leather jacket, you know, no matter what your budget is, with some great qualities to look for too. So if I or you only had about 500 bucks to spend. You know, it's not nothing, but leather, once you get into leather jackets, I wouldn't really go much lower than that if you're looking for something that's gonna last you a while. At this price point, there are two jackets that I really like. The first one is from Sefer, a really cool Swedish brand that a lot of us in the office like a lot. And generally speaking, their prices are pretty reasonable and their Francis jacket is a great option. It's made out of faux leather, which might scare people away, but that industry has gotten a lot better and you're seeing really convincing fake faux leather options out there. This one comes in a croc print. If you have something that has more of a finish or like fun print to it, that will kind of help hide any imperfections that you might see from other you know, materials in this price point. If someone wanted to spend around $500 or less mm. and get into real leather territory, what would you recommend there? Well, there are options at this price point for real leather beyond, you know, above genuine leather. And a sort of like hack, I guess, is to look for suede. One of my favorite options is from Banana Republic. Yes, the one at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's really handsome. It's It's got a, you know, classic sort of trucker jacket style. It's a little bit cropped, which I think goes well with high-waisted pants or jeans. It's a classic silhouette. Gonna look great on everybody. The suede yeah. is, is really supple. Give it a feel. Ooh, Don't mind if I wow, do. Wow, that's smooth. That's <laughs> sumptuous. And yeah, you know, you see movie stars wear suede truckers just like this one oh, on the red yeah. carpet all the time. And oh. I don't think anyone would blink an eye, you know, if they saw someone show up to a red carpet premiere wearing this exact Banana Republic jacket. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Young, your job was slightly easier. Your budget was 500 to 1500. Did you find anything good? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a great range to play with. I, I felt really lucky to, to get this assignment because there are some amazing options available to you, some like real classic leather jacket options. So so my pick, if I you know only had around a thousand dollars to spend on a leather jacket, my number one pick would be the Shot Perfecto because you know it's a legend, right? In its own right. It's an absolute icon. It's worn by Mar Marlon Brando, it was worn by the Ramones, worn by the Sex Pistols, 
This is like the leather jacket you think of when you hear the words leather jacket. And so Shot is an old school New York brand. It's almost 100 years old. They still make all of their jackets in America. It's made of really tough, you know, beautiful leather. And, you know, this classic biker style is never gonna go out of style. If you own this type of leather jacket and a white t-shirt and blue jeans and black boots, you've got an outfit that can take yeah, you that's to a most fit. occasions. Yeah, that is like a can't miss fit. That being said, as great as this jacket looks with a white tee and jeans, there are so many other ways you can wear it. You know, like I think of a classic GQ cover with David Beckham where he's wearing this <laughs> leather jacket pretty much with a crisp white dress shirt and a black tie and he looks incredible. So that brings us to Avidan. You had basically all the money in the world. What did you find? What did you pick at your price point? If you're spending that much money on a leather jacket, mm -hmm. you kind of expect it to come with a certain degree of quality. Right. Um, but what helps to narrow down the search a little bit is to look at brands that you know and that have like some sort of pedigree in that specific space. So the one I went with as my top pick is this leather blousing from Celine, which is kind of a different silhouette than any that we've talked about yet. It almost looks more like a, a cropped trucker or a, a boxier button up shirt, except it has a zip front and it's made out of this uh, really sumptuous, slightly patterned leather. I think if you're going to spend an absolutely ludicrous amount of money on a leather jacket, you'd be hard pressed to find a better option than this one. You get what you're paying for, essentially. So it comes with the designer pedigree and this really sick, precise silhouette that kind of hits exactly where you want it on the waist. But essentially what all those dollars are getting you is the leather, which is top notch. Right, you know, a lot of the allure of a jacket that expensive is like just how good and cool you'll feel yeah. putting it on. You know, you can't put a price on that confidence boost. Apparently you can. That's around $5,000. <laughs> $5, yeah. So obviously with no budget, there's a ton of different options to choose from, which is why this was so fun. Uh, but the other one that I would pick as uh, one of the best on the market right now is this sort of proto trucker jacket silhouette from Saint Laurent. It's made out of a really supple drum lambskin. It feels super luxe which makes sense because it costs like over 6K, so you wouldn't really expect anything less. And in fact, I liked it so much that we pulled a few strings, put it on GQ's tab, and called in three versions for each one of us to try on. Sweet. Just to try on, not to... Take home. You know. <laughs> Listen, Gerald, if one goes missing, I'm not gonna be making any phone calls. <laughs> but both of ours can't go missing. <laughs> one leather jacket styled three ways. So, you know, obviously we love the Saint Laurent jacket. It's beautiful, it's exquisite, but it's also just very simple. And we wanted to show how one great leather jacket could fit into all three of our wardrobes, which I think we would all agree are quite different. Like I think a lot of times people get intimidated by the idea of wearing a leather jacket that you can really only wear it one way or it's gonna make you look a certain way. But I think what we're hoping to prove in this segment is that anyone can wear a leather jacket and there's a million ways to style them. Young, like you said, we each have very different personal styles. So I'm curious to see how we'll all wear it and make it our own. Yeah, absolutely. Woo! Coming through in heat right off the bat. You look bat. sick, man, you look sick. <laughs> Dude, walk <laughs> us through this fit. What's going on here? Give me the breakdown. We picked this jacket for a few reasons. One is that it's actually not so crazy. There's not a lot of bells and whistles like a Perfecto or, you know, it's not a huge over the top, you know, trench coat or something like that. It's very like simple, that. it's very elegant. Yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty elegant. Uh, it's sort of got an 80s vibe to it, but I think you might categorize this as like uh, maybe a, a type of aviator jacket, albeit like a spin on it. I like that it's a little bit short, maybe like a trucker jacket. I like where the shoulders sit. And I mean, really like with any piece, especially a leather jacket, you wanna make sure that the shoulders are right. Whether it's a suit jacket, mm -hmm. a leather jacket, whatever the case might be, it's like the one thing a tailor really can't fix is the mm -hmm. shoulders. And so as long as that fits, like, you know, you should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How did you decide on what you were gonna pair with it? I guess my style, you know, it's, you've, you've seen me, it's not over the top. Like I said before, for the longest time I felt like, oh, it's too cool for me. I can't, like, I can't touch that. But finding a jacket like this, I sort of leaned into the all black look. I have a vintage tee on and 
You found glory, baby. You know, found glory. My friend's over you. <laughs> <laughs> my first, well, yeah, my first band tee, I still have it. I have some kind of Moto-esque boots, some vintage ones from Red Wing. It's got some texture to it, which I really like. And these vintage black, kind of slim-ish pants. So to sort of play into the all black, like brutish leather jacket feel, but not have it feel like Marlon Brando or like the usual. Right you know, icons you might have in your head. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Yeah. That's what's great about it. Thanks. Suits the jacket, suits you. <laughs> Young, you and I have a very different style. Uh, we've true. got the same jacket. I am very curious to see how you're gonna style it. Let's find out. Cool. Young, looking great. Can you walk us through your fit? Yeah. In my mind, there's like nothing like a great leather jacket with some thrashed Levi's and some Doc Martens. So I kept the lower half pretty classic, but my style tends to trend a little preppier, a little dressier sometimes. Top half, I went like a shirt and tie, you know, and this is like a cool vintage long van tie that I stole from my dad. Sorry, pops. And just like a clean white dress shirt, which you can't really go wrong with either. And then just for like, you know, 90s Samuel L. Jackson vibes, I went with the backwards Nike cap up top. I don't know, I think it all kind of comes together. What do, you, what do you guys think? Yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Proportionally, it looks really clean. I mean, also, I tend to default to just a good pair of jeans because it's mm -hmm. like, it works. Yeah. It works with everything. When you can't think of what to wear, pair of jeans. Exactly. Leather jackets and jeans is always a good look. You know, if it's just like a great default. If you happen to have an amazing leather jacket and an amazing pair of jeans, you've got, you know, the workings of an excellent, excellent outfit that you can lean on and go back to over and over and over again. This is like maybe a little high concept or a little bit of a weird twist on it, but I, you know, I just kind of went for it. And so you get what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Avran, look and fly. Tell us about your fit. Thank you, Young. Uh, I feel like this is essentially an outfit that I wear a variation of like a few days a week. Mm -hmm. It's just really easy to me, mostly because it's largely like dark tones. And I think there's kind of a rumpled elegance to it, though maybe I'm giving myself a little bit too much credit. I wanted to lean into like the leather jackets, sort of a uh, rock star heritage, which explains the very impractical scarf that's around my neck right now. Not really doing too much from a warmth perspective, but it adds a little bit of textural interest. I'm wearing dress trousers with a slight sheen and a, and a pretty crisp crease. Some scuffed loafers uh, from Paraboot, white socks, and this rumpled blue dress shirt. I feel like if I was getting dressed in a rush and I kind of lost track of time, I would throw on all these sorts of things and probably look somewhat decent wherever I'm headed. I mean, this is a compliment. It looks like you're like rushing to go get a drink at the Odeon in like 1987. That's all I ever yeah. wanted to hear, <laughs> young. <laughs> and you look great. You look, again, it's very understated. It's very simple. It's very you. And, and it lets the beauty of this epic grail of a leather jacket sing. This was fun. It's great to see, you know, how differently we all styled the jacket. I feel pretty good in it. You know, like it's like often awkward to like be matching with people like showing up wearing the same thing but we're not really <laughs> spider-man memeing here like we actually really do very much look like ourselves and look different even though it's the same jacket i'm never really thinking about it as like a oh, fall jacket or a winter jacket mm -hmm. it's just kind of kind of like a pair of jeans honestly right like, dude wear that all the time yeah leather jackets they're evergreen <laughs> leather jacket icons so obviously there's a giant pantheon of legendary style icons who have worn leather jackets. Brando and the Wild One, Travolta in Greece, Tom Cruise in Top Gun, Lawrence Fishburne in The Matrix. All of these incredibly stylish dudes we've thought about and idolized over the years. So we wanted to take a little different swerve on that, right? We wanted to do our personal leather jacket gods. Avedon, who is your style icon? The one undisputed leather jacket king. My guy, Ralph Lauren, pulls off a leather jacket better than almost anyone else. Like he's got a crazy collection, right? He has like the Western style cowboy fringe suede jackets. He's got the classic moto jackets, the Brando-esque easy rider. And he makes it all look so cool because he wears it with like battered blue jeans and cowboy boots and all the other hallmarks of traditional American style. He's the goat. It's pretty easy to look cool in leather jackets when you own 
like a billion dollar clothing empire. But what if, what if you were the kind of guy that only owned one leather jacket and you made that leather jacket look so cool that it's always associated with you and will forever go down as one of the greatest leather jackets on one of the greatest leather jacket wearers of all time. Who, who could you possibly be talking about? <laughs> I am talking about Anthony Bourdain, the legend. He spent his whole life traveling the globe, right? He was going to all these exotic locations and he kept his wardrobe as a result pretty simple. It had to be able to blend into a lot of different environments and a lot of different situations. He favored things that he could wear over and over again, right? Beat to shit, Levi's 501s, really cool classic Persol sunglasses. And he had this one leather blazer that he would wear in all sorts of situations with all sorts of different clothes. And he always, always looked insanely cool in it, you know? It was his go-to for a reason, right? It just worked in so many different situations. And I think that's what you want, right? I think you wanna find that one leather jacket that works for you, that can become a staple in your wardrobe and associated with you and go with you wherever you go in the world. So for me, one of the best to ever do it is Andre Leon Talley, former editor at large of Vogue. And of course, yes, you work in fashion, you probably uh, know a thing or two about dressing. I'll give you that for sure. But I love that Andre doesn't just go for a jacket you might, you know, usually associate with a leather jacket. There's not a jacket there that's like subtle. It's always like a big long coat with like a croc embossed uh, pattern on it or a big shirling jacket. Like, if you're gonna go for it, why be subtle about it, right? And I think what's great, yeah, about the three icons that we just talked about is that they are all so different and mm -hmm. the jackets they, they preferred were so different and it just goes to show, right, like no matter who you are, what your style is, there is a leather jacket out there for you. You're gonna, you know, just keep looking because you will definitely find it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think they were all very compelling arguments. Yeah. Right. You should just let us know in the comments who was your favorite out of our three. Right, yeah, yeah, icon. and vote for me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> or drop your own style icon below and tell us that we're totally off base. Yeah, that works too. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with us and watching today. If you like any of the jackets that we talked about, they're all in the description below. All the links are there. Don't forget to vote for Ralph Lauren as your leather jacket style icon in the comments. Or Andre Leon Talley. Or Anthony Bourdain. Just vote with your conscience. <laughs>